Hello, my fit family. Welcome to Fit with Tiff 100. And today's topic is about being fit in your finances. So stay tuned. So today I'd like to talk to you about three secrets or tips that I use to pay off $100,000 in student loan debt. So before I get into the three secrets that I used, um, first let me say these are not necessarily secrets to everyone. Um, a lot of people do know these tips, but there are some people that don't. Um, I do follow financial influencers such as Dave Ramsey and Susie Orman and a few others. However, I had to take all of the information and knowledge from multiple people and learn how to tailor that information to a given situation. And because my situation changed from being uh, married with a two income household to being uh, divorced, I had to make sure that I tailored my um, financial planning needs to my situation. So with that said, these are the three keys that I use to help me in paying off $100,000 in student loan debt. Secret number one, I used a combination of the snowball and avalanche methods. When I paid off my student loan debt, I didn't just start there. I did pay um, at least the interest to make sure that my overall principal did not increase. But what I did was I took a look at all of my debts. So I had my mortgage, which was my largest debt, my student loans, which was my second largest debt, and my credit card debt, which was the smallest debt of the three. And I began using the snowball method to attack my credit card debt. Now, the reason why I also incorporated the avalanche method because I wanted to pay off the debt with the highest interest rate because that interest, the higher, it get, the higher it is, it's going to cause your principal amount to continue to go up and go up a lot quicker than your smaller interest debt. So what I did was I took a look at all of my debt. My credit card debt had the smallest amount. It was approximately 20000 And it had the highest interest rate. So I began attacking that debt. What I did was I looked at the minimum payment and I looked at my finances and determined that by canceling some services that I had in my household that wasn't needed, was just really a want, I was able to take additional money and begin putting that money towards um, my credit card debt. So I added extra money to my monthly payment on top of just the minimum payment so that I could pay that debt off quicker. Once I paid my credit card debt off, I took the amount of money that I was using on my credit card debt and began paying it on my student loan debt. And so that's the way I incorporated the snowball and avalanche method together to pay off $100,000 of student loan debt. Now, tip number two. Out of sight, out of mind. So what does this mean? Well, when I get my direct deposit from my job, that money doesn't necessarily just go into one account. I made sure that I placed a portion of that money automatically deposited into a separate account at a separate bank. And that way, I'm not seeing that money. So if I'm not seeing that money, it's not at the top of my mind. Therefore, I wasn't so inclined to spend that money. Now, that money began accumulating. And about every quarter, every quarter or, let's see, I'd say three to six months, I would take a lump sum of that money and then begin putting it on my student loan debt. 
And the out of sight, out of mind um, effort really helped me in being more, um, what's the word I'm looking for, um, intentional about paying off my debt and making sure that I'm not using that money for other things. So tip number three. I think Dave Ramsey calls it being like having like gazelle intensity and I would agree. I just call it simply being determined above all else being determined to become debt free and having financial peace and financial freedom in your life so that you can do more. And when you're determined above all else to pay off debt, you will use every bit of the money that you get, any type of extra money. So let me give you some examples of what I did. If I received a, a bonus on my job, I took that money and I put it towards my student loan debt. When it was time to file my income taxes, if I received an income tax return, I would take that money and put it on my student loan debt. For my birthday or for Christmas, if people gave me money gifts, I would put that money on my student loan debt. I, I did whatever I could to cancel out my student loan debt because I was determined above all else to pay it off. So I did the same thing for my credit card debt, which is why I was able to pay it off pretty quickly. And now I've been doing this for my student loan debt. And as I said, I've paid off $100,000. Um, in the beginning of this video, you see a picture of it showing, I believe it was, maybe $165,000, that number was actually at $180,000. Um, I guess I can say very quickly, it started off at, I believe, $140,000, but my first year, I um, went in deferment until I began working, and then after that, I was paying the minimum amount which I paid, I want to say at least 20 grand one year, and my student loans went up by 40 grand. And so that caused my 140 to go up to 180. And so I really paid my debt down from $180,000. So my goal today is really to encourage you. There's nothing that you cannot do when you put your mind to it. These three tips worked for me. There are other tips that people share and those tips may work for them and I'm sure they'll work for you as well. You just have to be consistent. So as I mentioned before, I use these three key tips or secrets to pay off $100,000 of my student loan debt. Just to recap, tip number one, I combined the snowball method, which was paying off the debt that had the smallest amount and then also utilize the avalanche method which was paying off the debt that had the highest interest rate. Tip number two, out of sight, out of mind. I made sure that my direct deposit was going into a separate account where I would pay off that student loan debt. And not only was it going into a separate account, but it was also going into a separate bank so that I would not see that money and therefore would be less reluctant to spend that money. Tip number three, I was determined above all else to pay off this debt so that one day I can experience and my family can experience financial freedom. So my fit family, I would like to encourage you today Make sure that whatever you have in your mind to do, you make your mind up and you do it. Above all else, whether it's paying off your credit card debt or paying off your house, saving up money for your kids to go to college or investing in a retirement plan, whatever it is, definitely put your mind to it. Be determined to accomplish it and you can do it. If you would like to know more about my ministry, um, I am the 
CEO and owner of Money Makeover Ministries. If you go to moneymakeoverministries.com and look at the About Us page, you'll find more information about my background, my skills, my experience, and why I do consider myself an expert in this area. And you'll also see some testimonials on my website that discuss different ways I've helped people in their finances and improve their financial well-being. And I hope that this video has helped you in some way. And if you're not already a FIT family member, please definitely hit that subscribe button and become a FIT family member. Also, if this video resonated with you and you'd like to see more videos about improving your finances in the future, please definitely give this video a thumbs up. And feel free to comment down below and let me know what are some of the things that you're working on to pay off your debt. And if you have any questions for me or any video ideas that you'd like me to um, make about finances, I'm happy to do it. And also don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you will always stay tuned to my videos in the future. Well, my fit family, I am going to close out this video. And until next time, stay fit. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.